Thanks, Quinn. <clears throat> um, it's, uh, it's been an exciting four months, but a big part of our, our presentation and our story is, is we don't make short-term decisions based on month-to-month -month or day-to-day -day moves. Um, this is the first presentation I've been to where there's actually an overflow room. Uh, it's a very good sign for the market, and we're very excited about that. But uh, what I really want to get across about the Integra story um, is looking back first to the last four years, and then show you some of the things that we've done that position us, we think, better than any other company um, for the run that's coming. And if gold decides it's going to stay at $1,200, uh, $1, which we don't believe it is for the next few years, uh, we think we'll continue to be one of those top performers. <clears throat> high grade and growing. Uh, high grade is very important because what it does is protect, protects you from the downside. We're all heroes at $1,800 gold. Not everyone looks so pretty when the lights come on at $1,100 gold. But Integra entered this year, so after a four-year downturn, uh, at a three-year high, or three cents off a three-year high. Since then, we've performed very well, but a lot of that, we think, management has done some smart things. Um, a lot of that is because of the grade. We have a project that works at $1,000 at $1,100 gold, uh, and growing. And that's the second part to our story. And today's presentation uh, is going to talk about our growth strategy. So there will be lots of forward-looking statements. Um, you're happy to visit our website to get more information on that. <clears throat> so first up, this is the slide that we think uh, no other company can put out right now. We've got 60,000 meters. It's actually 65,000 meters now in drill assays pending. So that's, that's more than most companies will drill in a year. That's how many assays we have going through our labs, our own, our own facilities and our core labs right now. We've had eight drill rigs turning on our high-grade project for the first four months of this year. We're, we've uh, we've brought that down. We're at five, five, <clears throat> five rigs right now. Um, so what you can expect to see from us is a very catalyst-rich company. Uh, we put out some drill results again last week, uh, last Wednesday, uh, about 13,000 meters. Um, right now, we're putting out assays, not even enough to keep up with the backlog. So it's continuing to grow. One thing we mentioned last week is our project. Uh, we have added a second core, uh, core line to process drill core. So you should see that 65,000 meter backlog clear up over the last few months. So you can expect a lot of news to come. A lot of catalysts, uh, PAs coming out, multiple resource estimates. We have a few different deposits along a five kilometer trend. You hear me talk a lot about the triangle deposit. That's sort of the, that's the flagship asset for Integra. Um, a lot of that was gonna happen this year. And then $30 million in cash. We actually announced a financing on Friday morning, uh, a $20 million financing. Due to the demand, it was upsized. Uh, it's gonna close for about $28 million. So it brings our total cash position to just under $60 million. Uh, ramp construction to commence in June. So not only are we drilling a lot, we're actually building this as well. So as of June 1st, we're going to start uh, blowing things up. Uh, our ramp at the Triangle Deposit, uh, we're going to head underground. It's going to take about a year to get into the deposit, but we'll have lots of expiration news in the meantime. And then uh, the folks of this presentation, we'll talk about some of the other targets. The Triangle Deposit's very exciting, but there's a lot more to Integra than just that. <clears throat> this is a very important chart because what it shows is that line um, was the January Metal Investors Forum. If you back that up a little bit to the beginning of the year, you can, say, you can see we're all heroes in the last three or four months, but going into it at, in the last three years, uh, Integra has managed to make decisions uh, and do things to, to add value for its shareholders in very difficult times. I started with the company in, in uh, July 2012. Uh, we had a market cap of 20 million. Uh, we now have a market cap as of last week of just over 300. So, and a lot of that was built uh, during tough times. Uh, market cap, uh, it says here 290, that's gone up a little bit. Uh, cash, just under 60 million. There's 450 million shares outstanding. That's gonna change. We've added about 25 million shares recently. Uh, it seems like a lot of shares. Uh, I can proudly say that every financing we've ever done, which is now over $100 million in the last four years, every financing we've ever done, every warrant we've ever issued uh, is well in the money. Um, so. Obviously, uh, we need to do a little more work uh, to have when you have 450 million shares outstanding, but we think we have the, the tools to get us there. What you can see on there is some of our top holders. Um, in the last financing, or the, or the financing we announced on Thursday, we had uh, orders from 22 different institutional accounts. So because of our shares outstanding, because of our volume, which is uh, about four to five million shares a day, uh, we're able to attract institutional investors as well. <clears throat> uh, this photo really says it all. What you're looking at is north at our mill. So in 2014, we bought a mill out of bankruptcy. 
Uh, about a kilometer to the left or, or to the west of this picture is the city of Valdor. It's 35,000 people. So with that mill, we acquired uh, not only the milling infrastructure we need, uh, and a little sound bite for this, that same mill uh, and company uh, was acquired in 2011 for just over $700 million. We paid $7 million for it. That's the type of things you can do if you have a little momentum in a bear market. We acquired that mill, and with it came all the permits we need, not only for the mill, but for the surrounding area, which included our triangle deposit. This is looking south from the mill, and you can see the triangle deposit about three kilometers away. It's the first time that deposit and this mill have ever been put into the same company. So we're coming out of this, we're coming out of this market, or, or sorry, coming into this market with a lot of momentum. And uh, two things I really want to point out about this. These are the highlights for our company. Best in class, as far as currency goes, um, we have the currency advantage. North America is the best place in the world to explore. Maybe Australia is up there as well. We have the advantage over the US of uh, a weaker Canadian dollar as well. Jurisdiction, uh, Quebec doesn't get any better. There's a lot of financial institutions and tax advantages to being, being in Quebec if you're gonna be in Canada. Uh, infrastructure, we've got our mill already built and we've got a mining community of 35,000 people two kilometers away and permits. All our environmental permits, which can take years to do, uh, are in place already. So we have everything we need. We just have to make sure we have enough gold um, uh, to make a company out of it. The next point I think is very important, growing market share in a shrinking field. Uh, Kamenak was a perfect example of this. Canadian assets are the most sought after assets, gold assets in the world right now. You have big companies looking to position themselves with safe jurisdiction assets. You have investors who have a lot of portfolio risk, um, jurisdiction risk in their portfolio. What, you, what you're seeing is it, it, corporates and investors want to come to Canada, but we've had four years of almost nothing taking place. What that means is there's, there's not really much left. Kamenak is, is yet one more, very high quality asset. Uh, now, it, now it belongs to Gold Corp or will in the, next, uh, in the next few months. There's not a lot of other companies at the stage that Integra is. Uh, you, the few that there are, you're gonna meet some of them today, but they are, the, they are and we believe they continue, uh, will continue to be the top performers uh, in the market. <clears throat> this is our growth strategy. So you can see the top of it is the triangle deposit. If we look at our budget, 80% of it is triangle. We've got a $26 million underground expiration program that we're kicking off on June 1st. And on top of that, we've got another $10 million we're gonna be spending uh, on surface drilling. What we're doing now is using that mill, that mill that we've acquired, which can handle more than just the triangle, and starting to aggressively approach um, or go after some of our other deposits. And we're calling it that hub and spoke model. Everything you see here, the number four plug, the Sigma deposit, the gold rush targets, and the Lamac deep target, those are all within four kilometers of our mill. What we'd like to do is, is get investors to stop looking at Integra just as the triangle deposit and the mill and start to think about what happens if Integra makes a discovery at one of its gold rush targets or it's the Mac deep target. We're not just talking about making the mine life for the mine longer. We could actually potentially double annual production. <clears throat> this is a shot of the triangle zone. If you look closely, you can see six drill rigs active. This is how close they are together. Uh, what else you see here is there's a road that goes right through the middle of the deposit. It's one of the few exciting exploration projects in Canada that you can actually order a pizza to. Uh, we're, we're two kilometers away, and Agnico Eagle put a road right across the deposit uh, because it's the pipeline for their Gold X mine, which is eight kilometers away. So it's, it's, it's always interesting when you bring analysts out and they can see that. You can go from the airport. When you land at the airport in Val d'Or, you actually, at the end of the runway, we have the mineral rights to. This is how close you are to our project. This is what we've put in in the last... Uh, we put in the last few, uh, sorry, in 2015. Uh, this is the infrastructure we're putting in for the portal. So this is what we're gonna kick off in June 1st. But what you can see, in the distance, you can actually see the city of Eldor, but we're, we're building this thing and bringing it forward. There's a lot of speculation for all the Canadian developers, is your plan to just get sold? We don't make, we don't make plans like that. We're building a company. Uh, in doing so, we think we're gonna make ourselves the most attractive company in Canada. But every, all the decisions we make um, are based on, on building the company. Um, this is what you can expect from Integra in 2016. This is just six months. What we're doing is we're gonna continue drilling at the triangle uh, and that ramp construction, you can see that. The number four plug, the Lamac Deep, the Gold Rush targets, um, those will all be drilled this year. Um, what I wanna do with this slide is just give everyone some context. This is not us getting distracted from the triangle deposit. That'll continue to be our, our top priority. 
what you're seeing here is us go after some very exciting targets that because of the mill and the advantages we have with that mill, have the potential to change our company. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be outside here uh, if anyone has any questions. Thank you. Thank you.